What it do, baby boo, y'all? It's your girl, Sneak the Ruler, here for school, y'all, on something that has been on my mind. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I definitely saw I was going to make this YouTube video, and here I am. So, it's kind of like coinciding with what I wanted to talk about for Wisdom Wednesday. And on that note in itself, like, I think it's crazy. Like, I'll put something down as a topic, and sometimes I feel like the universe sends me situations that really coincides with what that message is so i can deliver it more passionately and with a deeper understanding you get what i'm saying not to say i don't understand it from the beginning but it's a really deep connection because i'm going through that myself you see what i'm saying so with that being said i just want to talk about something that i pretty much realized um randomly this week and it's sad that I'm grieving, you know? It's sad that I'm grieving. So I'm pretty sure a lot of us are all going through this phase right now where we've been having to change our circles, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of our closest people have been dropping like flies, you know what I'm saying? Or we've been having to let go of people that have meant the world to us, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm definitely one of those people that has been going through that drastically, um, you know? it is what it is <laughs> i've talked about this a million times as your energy and vibration changes so does the things around you so does your situations your likes your dislikes everything's gonna change around you you know what i'm saying unless you really don't want it to which on that note if you're one of those people god bless you boo -boo, because you're harming yourself and you tend to lose out on more not listening and taking heed to your messages that spirit is giving you right kaboom but anyway so what it is I don't hear my mouth, y'all. Ciao. I hate when stuff be sticking to lip gloss. Anyways, so what it is, like, all right, I had to drop somebody, you know, and they was moving real greasily. They was real foul. You know, this is somebody I had to block off of everything. Like, this is not even like a we just don't talk no more type of situation or we've grown apart. It's not even to that. Like, no, this is one of those, it's a done deal. Bye bye, bitch. You feel me? And, you know, whenever I was going through the motions, I was dealing with a lot of things spiritually. Um, and then once I've worked through that, you know, and not even just once, while I was working through that, I was in the state of just being angry. You know, it started with disappointment. And I didn't feel like I was hurt. I felt like I was just disappointed. But then after it turned into anger, you know what I'm saying? Because of what I was dealing with spiritually, right? But once I got over that hurdle and things are, you know, now calm and, it seemed like the tide has settled down. It's like, I'm realizing now, like, you know, I'm having all these other emotions I didn't think I was gonna have. Like, you know, I had a feeling of, oh, I kinda miss this person, which is crazy, cause I am not that I miss you type, if you know me. When I cut motherfuckers off, it's a done deal. Like, bye. <laughs> but, you know, I had that emotion of I miss this person. Um, now, with that being said too, I didn't feel like I miss this person, I'm gonna rekindle or reach out no <laughs> like that's a done deal sometimes you just gotta know when shit is a done deal you gotta know when to just let them go you know what i'm saying you can love people all you want but you just gotta know when they don't belong at all in your life in your circle you listen to it anymore like that's that but on top of you know me having a feeling of dying issue what really threw me was i realized like damn my feelings are hurt you know what I'm saying? And that I'm going through a grieving process. Like, I didn't even think I was going to have to go through a grieving process. You feel what I'm saying? After it brought me back to a lot of my past situations, like, did I even really grieve those relationships? You know what I'm saying? Like, did I really grieve them? I don't really feel like I be grieving my past relationships. Like, in the moment, I might be dead tight. You know, my feelings might be hurt. I might feel away. And then literally within probably a week, maybe a month at max, if you even had that much pull. You feel what I'm saying? I might feel away and then after it's like shoulders, you know what I'm saying? But lately, like right now, I'm just realizing like, yo, like, I think I'm hurt. And it's funny that I say I think I'm hurt because in a way I'm still detached from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like look how I'm shrugging my shoulders. Like body language is telling you what's up. Like I'm shrugging my shoulders, you know? Um, but yeah, man, all that to say that I'm still processing and for anybody that's going through something similar with you know, similar to my situation, I just want to let y'all know that it's okay to grieve. Um, you need to sit with your emotions. Um, again, I'm going to touch on this more on my Wisdom Wednesdays. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, why not? You should. 
at s.lula holla at your girl tap in we do this every week <laughs> but outside of that um yeah man it's just like a lot of people out here moving like they good you know, a lot of people out here claiming that they're healed or because you might not feel any emotion, that doesn't mean that it's not there. Like, that's the point that I'm trying to get at. Just because you don't feel something right now or everything seems to be everything, that does not mean you're not still carrying baggage, emotional baggage. You feel what I'm saying? And that is something that I'm actually realizing right now about a certain situation in regards to a past relationship, you know? Um... So, this is not one of those videos like my previous ones where I'm trying to tell you how necessarily, like how to, like what's the Wednesdays, you know what I'm saying? This is just me sharing what I'm going through right now and being transparent. Um, I really just felt like it's something that I should touch on. The only how to I guess I have is that we need to sit with our emotions, like we need to feel things, we need to understand you know other people um and why we feel the ways that we do you know what i'm saying um and also why we feel and grieve just remember that these things are temporary as well um it comes and goes emotions they come and go you know but you just want to make sure that you're healing any part of yourself that might be a little traumatized you know for example like if your trust was shattered <laughs> you don't want to take what you have been given from a past situation into a new one so now every time you meet people you feel like you need to be defensive or like you don't trust people or you don't want to be that person you know what i'm saying and luckily for me i don't feel like i'm in that space personally um i still am who i am i'm still rather open for the most part to new situations not so much old ones coming in because baby that's another motherfucker topic that a girl is dealing with Ooh. right <laughs> but still though um we just look at me shaking the table but yeah anyways just know that these uh emotions are passerbys um and if they're not again just make sure you work through whatever it is that you feel like might be hindering you from being your greater self in the long run and that is all that i have for you all right now that's all i'm about to say i have not done this in a while did y'all miss me no all right anyhow peace out Thank you for tuning in. Of course, as always, all of my deets on what it is that your girl has on, from my nose cuffs to my lashes, will be all linked down below for you. And that is all that I have to say, really, yeah? Thank you so much for watching, and until my next download. Now I'm going to say to my next upload, we're going to start saying to my next download. Get it? If it goes over your head, like shame on you because you're supposed to understand like if we in this community together you're supposed to understand what i'm trying to say right now you feel what i'm saying you're supposed to get it and if you don't get it shame on you sis anyways bye guys i also just wanted to say like is this zoomed out anyways i also just wanted to say i'm so sorry if my lighting is so trash and yes i look so awkward right now because i was really about to just get up but i had to tell y'all Obviously, I'm sitting in a whole nother location right now, so you just gotta deal with what it look like, cause a your girl ain't got her ring light, so if I look crazy, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my damn self. I just felt the need to get out this message and also, like, give it where I'm at, you know? I just felt the need to get this message where it is that I'm at. Oh my god, that is killing me. Let me back it up. Let me lean back on them. But yeah, alright, anyways. Bye, that's it, that's it. Them old ten man just like the taxi them Mash up and don't like the accidents boy Brown skin face pretty like our ability limited edition